My friends, last episode, we went on a 12-year pilgrimage following all of you in the comment section, the, the, the beautiful Elven Council, convincing me, uh, convincing Queen Faces, that a long pilgrimage will be the greatest way she can prove her devotion to the Divine Spark. After dedicating over a seventh of our playthrough, 12 of our 70 years as Queen Faces to a pilgrimage, what did we get to show for it, my friends? Uh, tier 2 pilgrimage. Tier 2 level of piousness. We went to Iceland via East Siberia, not the way you're probably thinking, and we still achieved nothing. So, of course, all of the uh, all of those sniveling council members from the comment section appeared. My liege, I thought that it would give you tier 4. My liege, I had no idea what's, what's wrong. There must have been a mistake. Well, a few people did point out, though, that, of course, we did come back with thousands and thousands of prestige. But when you consider we get 40 per month anyway... Sorry, I meant piety. When you consider we get 40 per month anyway, we were away for 12 years. Uh, I mean, that's 5,760 just from living, just from existing. So I think that pilgrimage, I think it's very fair to say, may have been a waste of time. And, and the cherry on the proverbial elven cake here is we did it all for the ascension, you may recall. Uh, the problem with that is we still don't have enough piety for an ascension. <laughs> the greatest commitment we could ever do to any religion as any character. Of course, a 12-year pilgrimage in base game Crusader Kings with a human character. You're talking a, a massive majority of their ability to rule wasted, especially in their younger years too, when it's most impactful. You, that would be just totally unfeasible. So I feel like that was very much a, uh, a poor play. Definitely didn't go as, of course, I think all of us expected it to go there. So I think we've really got to make up for lost time because I'm afraid we don't have much time remaining. Uh, of course, we've played five characters so far. We're playing each character for 70 years before we move on to the next character. That means that we've only got, what is that, another 34 years as Queen Faces. Seems like a long time. I mean, it is still a very long time, of course. To do whatever it is she is going to do, whether that is the Ascension, whether it is, uh, you know, uh, making sure that we have some incredibly good grandchild ready to take the throne. Doesn't, they don't have any children yet, but of course, they're due to get married right now. So I think that's our top priority. But you've got to bear in mind, last episode, something did uh, majorly happen that, you know, wasn't necessarily what I aimed to do, which was get the piety. We were able to form an alliance with France here. And that means that, say, for example, we were sick of being ruled over by Emperor Mayland here. He's an elf. He's a regular elf. He has one bloodline, which is, of course, quite pathetic compared to us with our, with our many, many bloodlines. And the children, of course, the, the combination of all the elven houses. Say, for example, we did want to get independence. I, I think... I think it would be quite easy to do. 358,000 when we call our allies together, uh, when we call our allies in, versus 163,000 from our liege. I mean, we alone have 25k, which applied correctly to their capital, applied correctly when they are in the middle of a civil war, like they are right now. We could get our freedom in no time. Now, let's put that on the back burner. That's probably our play for today. I think after 12 years away, she, she would almost certainly want to... Uh, Work hard to make up for lost time. She's diligent, after all. And she's been away for too long, so we're probably going to pursue that today. But firstly, the more important thing. A grand wedding for the the, the, the promised elven... The, the, the future of elves. I think first things first, then. Let's go with... Diplomacy? Who would we even want to win over? They're humans. I don't care about that. Why don't we espouse legitimacy? The whole point of this Bloodline playthrough has been to show that our branch of the family is better than all the others, regardless of rank or tier or title. We could be a Count or we could be an Emperor. The point is we have those five Elven Bloodlines, which the AI is never going to achieve. So let's talk about how legitimate and clever and powerful and uh, nice-blooded we are. I'm being very careful with my choice of words there. We're already, already involved in activity. What the fuck are you doing? Where are you? What are you doing that's more important than your wedding? While we wait for her to come home, then, we better have, uh, we, we better visit court. As a diligent character, it feels wrong. Why was that so stuttering? Did you see that? Madness. Elf Nabatum, the adulterer, is a figure of disdain in the court, haunted by social ostracization and the butt of many sordid jokes. Oh. So, what are we going to do now? Are we going to, are we going to act against our daughter, the adulterer? Because technically, it is criminal. Or should we say family comes first? If you remember, we are trying to... Uh, we're trying to give a lot of benefit to the family. And as someone pointed out in the comments last episode, that, that as soon as we start tying up our familial bonds, the AI picked close kin as our dynastic legacy. So maybe they're paying attention to what we're doing over here. You must repent. <sighs> she will become a monk. 
How many bloodlines? She's got four bloodlines. We can't do that. Time to arrest this beast. I can't host you anymore. I would say no. We lose piety. 0.1 piety a month is a drop in the bucket compared to what we've got for five years. I, I think we've got to do it. Family does come first. I hope she knows the sacrifice we've made here. And maybe that'll be enough to encourage her to not do that again. Or at least keep it a bit quieter. Uh, these two wish to fight. Ninevelf and Ruglia. What happened to Ninevelf? You okay? My daughter Ninevelf is also disfigured. Who betrothed to? Alderon. Ah, oh, right. Yes, the, the, that's the one who got us. He wasn't very good. I remember that. But he is getting us, um, you know, like 100,000 troops. So I'll take that. May the best champion win. We'll let them fight then. I feel like Ninevelf has probably got this. I was going to say Ninevelf has probably got that in the bag, right? And yes, sadly, we'll be holding court as well. She looks terribly impatient. Her feet don't reach her footstool. Or is it just decorative? Gesture for the first in line to approach. Hello, it's Duke Galindor. I remember Duke Galindor. Hello. My liege, uh, Bazarite trade is stifled by the lack of currency. Let's Aranderid establish our own mints with royal approval. Um, can't we mint our own coins? That'd be nice. Gonna weak hook on him. We give him coinage rights. Uh, he gives us, he can give us a county. I hear you have a fine collection. Give us an artifact. Only if Bazarite's borders are never altered. Okay, so force partition. Hmm. In exchange for greater commitments. It gives us more levies. I don't really want more levies. Honestly, I feel like the... What'd she do? What is she? What's her personality? We can't see it anymore. This is annoying because there's obviously some of the, uh, the the mods there overwriting one another. Intelligent, paranoid, fickle. I, I, I think... Be paranoid. You don't, want, you don't want him to get any more power. He's vexed by the demand. I'm sorry, but that's just what she would do. A haggard-looking peasant stands in front of me. My lady, I beg you for your help. A monster prowls in the mountains of Dinawa, killing cattle and farmers alike. I don't know why she'd sound like that being from the Middle East, but that's okay. Um, Tuzin Carmel will slay the beast. Absolutely, he will. 100% chance. Well done. King to... That's kind of a cool idea. I like that. The king stands up and goes and slays the beast. Very good of him. Very nice. Uh, my queen, the dogs of Bakuba think they are better than us, he spews. May Thelonia, the aberrant swine, needs to be put in his place. Um, Bakuba is a nicer town. Okay, Bakusea is undoubtedly preferable. No, 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 no. Use the diplomacy, talk him down. Right, good work in the royal court there. Now, where's my daughter? My business here is done. Yes, thank you. That was probably not the right event to do, to pass some time, given that it was paused. Is there a way to tell what she's doing? She's just over there, located in... Mesel B B Boza? It's clearly, there's some sort of uh, some sort of feast. It's this king over here, King Haldrin. Some sort of feast, some sort of, of of event going down. But I can't see anything on the map, so God knows what the hell's happening over there. Ah, oh, Dynasty has unlocked gift givers. More like to get trade events when raiding. Oh, interesting. I don't really want that, but that's okay. Daughter, you are holding everything up. I can't go to war knowing that this guy might be leading our troops and may die before he passes on his bloodline. Daughter, please. Can, why can't I just recall her home? Otherwise, I, I'm a little bit concerned this might time out again. You have two years to fulfill your promise. Even the longest of feasts only lasts nine months, though, right? She's also got consumption. What are you like? What are you doing? Are you joking? Okay, well, it's working now. Good news. Uh, it turns out that that activity she was supposedly attending was consumption. I got a pop-up saying that she no longer had consumption, and then all of a sudden we're allowed to plan the grand wedding. Listen, I don't know if I would describe uh, dying of tuberculosis, an activity prevents you from joining a wedding. I mean, yes, it technically is. It would be nice if it was a bit more literal, though. Hey, she's, she's a bit too ill to attend right now, rather than me thinking she's off having a feast. So, without further ado, we start the grand wedding. 634 gold. My lord, we're going to be broke. Oh, you got reveler too. That's fun. We also have a couple of lifestyle perks here. Uh, we'll go for Kidnapper. Again, because we're paranoid, it'd be good to be able to deal with our enemies should they appear, but also know how to handle ourselves. And Commander, too, is really nice, given that she's been leading our armies more than anyone else. Night effect in is 15%. Gonna be massive when we do that independence war. Again, I feel like she would be a little bit uh, a little bit big-headed, a little bit uh, egotistical. The fact that she is this, this, this well-bred, very high-tier elf, of course, who is now... Finally, capable of ascending way above her liege. And given how important that the uh, Elven Tears and the Ascensions have been this entire time, I think she'd probably be quite upset that he is, you know, at least in terms of the feudal system, better than her. Should we just give up on this, uh, happen? You best believe it. Should we Should we just solidify a legend at this point? We don't need to upgrade it anymore. It's, it's done. It's over. So we can just close the book on that, eh? 
Completing the legend makes it impossible to start again. We gain access to the launcher legendary adventure decision. Gain access to the demand local submission decision. Gain an access to a watchtower and a statue. Of course, we can build immediately. Gain access to commission legend artifact decision. We gain 330 legitimacy and, more importantly, living legend. Beautiful. Uh, on the end of legend, here is the book of Queen Thasis and all her noble deeds. They were unmatched in the whole land, and here is the end of the conquest of the Abbasid Sultanate. The battle was fierce. Queen Faces of Mesopotamia, Mesopotamia, met battle in the middle of battle. Her eyes filled with valor. She raised her weapon and struck a blow to the enemy's chest. Blood flowed. Victory. And there's her boat being pulled by an enormous swan, as it was written in Baghdad, 17th of June, 1184 AD. Wow, that's a good, that's a good legend to have. Powerful mythical legend to go along with all of these other legends. Emperor Thartha Tharthi of Sylvania. Our boy, there he is. I didn't realize he actually had some mythical legends there at the end. Oh, well, that's great that we're up there with him. He's got three mythical legends along with two other illustrious and famed. Oh, look at him. Holy shit. He was such a legendary guy. And now we're up there. We're up there with them. I'm so happy with that. Oh, hello. Uh, we'll deal with the watchtower and everything else later on. Oh, what a terrible child. Don't bring that to my court again. My God, my, my vomit. Hello. Uh, dear grandmother, I pro formally propose. Sorry. To Thalion of Tuscany, dear grandmother. Oh, that's right. I did marry them off. Oh, well, that's good. Uh, yes, Tuscan troops. I can deal with that. Tuscan raiders. Wow. Yeah, we'll, d we'll deal with this after we've done with the wedding. Because, I mean, we can we can certainly afford it, right? Start a legend or inherit a legend. Interesting. We can inherit a legend. Okay. How does that work? Uh, Where, where even is that? Legend library? Distant legends? I have no idea. How do I get to that then? Let's have a look. Uh, again, I've not even really used this DLC before. A legend around here has come to an end, but I still feel the yearning for the great deeds before I part from this world. Oh, that's a legendary adventurer. Sorry. Um, inherit legend. Your ancestor has passed away. You may now promote their legend. Okay, yeah, no, I'm all right. I don't think I want to do another legend. It's very distracting. You know I've got to ask here. I, I mean, we've got strategist. Field of blood, of course, is fantastic. We've proven that. Loyal men. Army gold maintenance down by 2.5%. Why do I ask about that? Well... I was having a look at our retinues, because of course we got that dynasty legacy not so long ago. Our, our, uh, whoever's head of house right now, I have no idea who that is. I presume it's, um, the Emperor of Germania, right? Yeah, 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 Thaldir. Oh, sorry, Francie, that's what I meant. Thaldir the Bloodfather, our great, 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 great grandfather, something like that. Smeagol's father, who we went to war with quite a few times. He picked that legacy that gives us more mana arms. So I was looking at and seeing what we should go for here. It's a lot of human stuff. Obviously, we've got access to the unique ones, the house guard, the retinue archers, the, the, the caballeros there. All of these are fine. I looked at our major. So I was like, how do they stack up compared to, say, the wolf riders? And the answer is, um, they're like twice as good, arguably. Twice as good. They don't have as much good pursuit. But if we're if we've got massive fatal bonuses from elsewhere anyway i also like the idea that the one of the first elven queens here who's going to be getting her, her independence would have a bunch of aloran magi i think that works really well so let's we've also got to consider counters and stuff like that but uh, apparently they counter like basically everything <laughs> um i think we will not only go for another band then of the major now bear in mind they have a piety upkeep so this will be quite quite expensive at full uh, full size, full maintenance. Let's see what we're looking like here. Yeah, that's cut us down from 40 a month to 30, 34 a month. So it's not crazy even that, right? And again, prestige we can do with other stuff like build buildings. I, I think at this point, maybe we even just like drop the archers. They've got the same counter as the archers and they are much better in every way. Granted, it's size 8 of 8 compared to 14, which means our, our rating will be slightly less impactful, but that seems good. Hello. Count Dalion, you're my cousin, are you? Elf-blooded. Ah, uh, no, you've got 600 troops. I think I'm all right. So then, who is at our wedding? Let's have a look. I can't wait. I can't wait. Let's see who's arrived. Uh, we've got Ratha Tharthi, our previous character. There he is. Your father, grandfather, and brother-in-law. How confusing. Elf Pophis there is his, uh, is his origin. So Elf Pophis hasn't arrived. Our brother there. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad he's still doing well. Is he doing well? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say he's um, I'd say he's doing all right. Yeah, the Sultan of the Hafsid Sultanate, okay, Alderon of Croatia, vaguely remember him. 
Goranis, Thaldrim. We've got a lot of half brothers and siblings. Danielle Fakeson, very good. Oh, the Gauti. Oh, well, that's not very good at all. I'm sorry, Danielle Fakeson. But it's nice that a lot of the family are turning. A lot of our Egyptian family are, are joining us over here, too. I love that we've kind of, of course, we had during Elrong's era all those characters we recognized, and now we've sort of built all that up again at this point in time with our Middle Eastern dynasties. Uh, I'm just so proud. Or aren't you just jealous? Why would I want to do that? No, we're proud. We're trying to bring the dynasty together. Remember, we've ended that cycle. There's a big cycle of hatred between Elrond and his and, and Smeagolf, and now we've moved on. I'm amazed. Uh, uh, sorry, everyone is amazed by the magnificence of the wedding. Everyone but Priestess Elena. Are you wearing makeup? These colorful veils are sinful. What's with all the unchaste mingling? This is a show of luxury and lust. Ah, uh, just pretend you didn't hear anything. Tricking out a priest probably isn't very good for diplomacy, eh? I hope this goes well. We need this to go well. Oh, Oh no, Ratha Tharthi has forgotten his lines. Salvage the situation, boom. Put that diplomacy to good work. Make Ratha, Ratha Tharthi Senior very proud. It's really hard to tell them apart. They are all becoming so, they're so inbred at this point. It's basically just copy and pasting the same character generation on generation. Have you also noticed she looks very familiar to the, uh, to the region of Germany Elf. Very, very scary stuff. Oh, 45 gold, thank you. I mean, that's not going to save me from my wrath, but I appreciate that. God, there is a lot of unchaste mingling. Good lord, stand back. Personal space, my god. And now it's time for the banquet. Um, I picked out the dishes personally, Maldam. Uh, yes, Finra, things aren't quite how I imagine them. Nod along without paying attention. Yes, that's just... We've got important, more important stuff to focus. These are, these are lower, lesser people. We don't care about them. Even amongst elves, we're the best among the best, right? Nothing... Su something sweet but perfunctory. Or praise the happy couple, as expected. Yes, let's do that. Let's follow protocol here. Mugs clash, chatter blares, and slam on tables, all in a chaotic cacophony of meaningless noise. In this silence, I feel my heart begin to swell, and my to my mind, a speech comes to me fully written, growing from a, a whisper to a shout, prepared to be shared. A speech of my legitimacy as queen. Ah, there you go. Ah, uh, I have the wit of Nessa. Sure. Speech rouses the guests. Not that we need legitimacy. I think it's just the one that, you know, makes the most sense in this situation. Yeah, we're, we're totally maxed out on that. Delightful. Ah, life reaffirmed. Well, that's good. She's going to lose all stress. It's a rare moment where she's not maximum stress, huh? Medium health boost. Minus 50% stress gain for five years. Oh, well, I'm a big fan of that. Thank you. Much appreciated. Uh, and who is this? Duke Thaldoran. The detestable Duke Thaldoran has been staring at me across the banquet table. Our eyes meet, and I tense for an argument as he crosses. But is he crying? Why did you invite me to this splendid wedding after all that's passed between us? His eyes filled with tears. I wish I could take it all back. Ah! Our half-brother, our rival. Why did we become rivals? Let's find out. Duke Thaldoran murdered your parent. Oh, did he? Well, that's a bit fucked up. What, well, he killed Feopatra? I mean, he must have. It says died under mysterious circumstances, but apparently we know about it. We uncovered his secret. Ah. <sighs> She's paranoid. This could be a play. She's also fickle, though. She's also fickle, so I think she'd be quick to uh, forgive and move on. Ignore him until he leaves. Uh, embrace him and let all be forgiven. Can we not just give him like a firm handshake? Oh my god. He actually flipped entirely to becoming our friend. Okay, you know what? Fair enough. Uh, once bits of rivals, you and Duke Thelda are in something, something, something. The font is the same color as the background. <laughs> I don't know why that is, but that's okay. Oh god. Oh no, that's not good, is it? And now the newlyweds are going to celebrate privately in the bedchamber, whatever that means. I'm playing Magic the Gathering in my experience. Hello, uh, do we need the opinion of Duchess Aravena? It could give us some stats, not that we're really struggling for stats right now. It was a lot of stress because we were diligent. Oh, because she wants to work hard at the, at the feast. You know what, good for you, let's do that. Increase your diplomacy by one. I, I, be honest, I don't think that was entirely necessary, but thank you. But anyway, we should be going to university more frequently too, I completely forgot about that. Uh, tired after a long day's waiting and socializing, my daughters and I sconce ourselves to the tables and mull over the union. Alf Narberton speaks quietly. You know I must still have misgivings. I worry for my brother. This bond opens the gates for the French intrigues to destroy the Empire of France and house Parasite from within. Come, sister. Alf Sinel sighs. Give it time. Grant them a moon together before you pass such judgments. Uh, it's a good match. Should we just say that? Obviously, we know it's a good match, but maybe they're a little concerned that... I'm not really sure why they're concerned. Actually, it's... It's, it, it's, they're both, that's your brother too, you fool. I don't know how that lets France destroy our realm, but there we are. Maybe they're worried because they know that we've got plans in action. Maybe they, they heard me talking earlier in the episode about the plans to go to war. And that might let Francia just simply conquest us. We're allied though. It's a good match. You're fine. You're worrying too much about these things. Thank you all for coming.
Hey, 1,200 prestige. What the hell am I going to do with that? 250 piety. We got almost as much piety hosting this grand wedding than we did going on a 12-year tour of most of the world. Jesus. Okay, well, there we are. Good work, squad. So, before we do our ascension, and before we have our rebellion, we'll, of course, do our ascension. Before we do our ascension, and before we go on rebellion, we need to go to university. But before we do either, I think we are going to... Oh, God, there's so much to do here. Hold on. Let's clear grounds for a ledgery watchtower. We've built a ledgery statue before. Anbar. Okay, cool. Clear the ground, then. Alambar up here, I would assume. And there it is, legendary watchtower. Station man at arms, toughness, and... Oh, God. Oh, God. Benefits for my Alaron Magi. Yes. Size of man at arms regiment, plus one as well. Oh, that's powerful stuff. What I might want to do, then, is swap Alambar if we're building that totally into something that gives man at arms... I was about to say man at arms damage and toughness. Apparently, you've already beaten me to it. That's heavy cavalry. Okay. I don't think there's going to be any benefits for... General man at arms bonuses, right? Because obviously, there, there are not going to be any buildings that give a specific benefit to our mages. Ah, workshops. Station siege weapons effectiveness. I don't think that quite counts. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Hello. Um, Kalendor wants to marry Elf Nabatum. She does have four bloodlines. That's a bit of a dangerous marriage. But he has no bloodlines. And the chance of their kids inheriting all four are so incredibly low. Plus, it gives us another 3,000 troops. So, you know what? I'll take it. Demand local submission. What does that do? You'll have 15 years to access the demand fealty cast as Bella. You gain fealty demanded for 15 years. Reduces general opinion. Man at arms men is down by 25%. Bloody hell. Maybe that's good before we go to war. So we'll we'll sit on that one for a while. Okay, then. Uh, let's have a look at some benefits. I mean, we could go all the way down to Gallant. Seems pretty all right. I don't think it's totally out of character there. We got twice schemed. Not that we're doing many hostile schemes, but it's good for the intrigue study, right? Um, divine inspiration. Faith creation and reformation cost down by 5%. I could be persuaded. I really could. Let's go for the anatomical studies for now. I don't think we've got any plans currently to reform the religion. Bear in mind, we've lost so many years of this character's life. 40 years, I'm going to get independence and do everything else. It might be quite a lot to ask, but we'll see how it goes. Strange gods. Hello. Different faith opinion plus 15. Faith conversion cost minus 15%. Hold on. It's back on the cards. Wow. It's like I, I say something and the game can hear me. And it's like, you know what? I've got you. Let's go on that expedition then. See if we can find a spark crystal. We're going to go to Jazz Murian. What? We got a special treasure from a random event that popped up during travel. Oh my god. It was like 93% chance of uh, saying the queen gets a cut and getting a treasure. The Afaganyu. Large vessel where holy fire central to many ceremonies of Zoroastrian faith is lit. Wow. Is it one of the oldest burning fires in the world Is it in, a, in a Zoroastrian temple? Crazy. Wow. -y. Um, I don't need it, so I guess I'll just sell it. You lost it to yourself. It's like when you put your phone down somewhere, you have to go find it again. What? King Tutankhamelf has been murdered. King Tutankhamelf of Mesopotamia has been murdered. Oh my god. Died under mysterious circumstances. No, my personal champion, my master of the horse, my king and my husband. What happened? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Spy master. He's on Disrupt Schemes, and he's got 31. Oh, my God. Who were his rivals? Okay, so I guess it's a bit late to be checking now, given that he's fucking dead. He didn't have any rivals. Well, I think he probably did when he was alive. He didn't really, you know, really rivals with a corpse. Um, right. That's terrible. We do need to remarry. We do need to remarry. There's no question about that. Count... Sorry. Hold on. This man's called Halley and the Stallion. Hold on. <laughs> I'm thinking, listen, she lost her first husband. She's probably quite upset about that. We should probably marry for stats, not anything else. This man's called Halley and the Stallion. He's 116. What, what is he, like a human? Look at him. Why is he so wrinkly? Halley and the Stallion, though. My God. Um, so by prestige? Oh, this guy's not bad. It's going to be matrilineal as well. He's got very, 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 very good stats. The king of Sorbia. And if we go into a rebellion against Germania Elf, that could be a good ally to have. Oh, God. Well, she's diligent. So she would do her duty and she would marry. She would absolutely marry. Let's just get it done. I pray that we together can find redemption, atonement, as well as happiness. Wife. 
Very good. I mean, they're going to be rolling from different courts. They're never going to see each other. It is purely a diplomatic arrangement. Oh, hold on. Because he's a ruler, we now get no spousal bonuses. Oh, uh, is it too late to divorce him? I'm sorry. I made a, I made a mistake. I meant to send that letter to uh, the king of... The the uh, the uh, the king of uh, the other the other place. I'm so sorry. Right, hold on. <laughs> Though I agree, it's maybe more in character that she would go for a, a, a high tier marriage like that. Having that, we're missing on so many benefits, aren't we? Let's save ruler, not ruler. And let's try that again. Arundel Falcanda, old man. I don't really want an old man. That's a bit weird. Uh. Who is this guy? Oh, no. It's got, they've got to be an elf at the minimum. How, how old is she? 59. We've got a guy here that's 72. Oh, he's got lover's pox and he's ill. Ugh. This guy's 17. Ugh. What about you? Naleon. Naleon. That's a good name. He's got a bloodline too. So he's not like the, 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 the elven scum of the earth. He's a witch. He's an eager reveler. This is good. Erudite and Adonic. No strength, but that's okay. Oh, I don't, I don't hate that. That's not a terrible marriage. Sadly, we can't marry Thali on the Stalin. If we go for this, okay, she can marry a grandson. Oh, <laughs> this is horrible. Um, Naleon, I think, is maybe the best of a bad situation. All right, go on then. It's a marriage of convenience. And he was in the court of the emperor. It's his great grandson. Well, that is interesting, isn't it? Excellent. Okay, thank you. There he is, King, King Naleon. He's not terrible. I just, you know, I feel like we should just let it breathe a while. She, she married purely for the for the for the diplomatic and uh, necessary reasons that come with come with rulership in the Middle Ages, you know. Ultimately, we could pick celibacy. That would not hurt because then we're not potentially watering down our our direct descendants with a guy with only one bloodline. I think that could be that could be fine. Do we want to do anything else in intrigue? We should, we, we've got to wait till we get schema, of course. Oh, dear, my vassal, the Duchy of Aljorf, and its rank and territory. So, oh, thank you. I believe we can make the Kingdom of Persia. Wowie! To be honest, if we keep expanding the way we are, we we are now a, a, a double queen. We, we almost firstly, of course, have to make the Empire now, but that was always going to be the plan. I feel like the Independence War isn't going to be that difficult, or is, it, or is definitely within striking distance. What the hell is going on here? What, uh, set like, like, like a runner, like a strawberry. What's going on there? That's frightening. I don't like that. Uh, but we can... I mean, if you die, and the Empire could have been created, like the Persian Empire can be created, if he dies before her, I think she'll become an Emperor by default anyway right oh no it's only his direct descendants hmm well either way i don't think we have to worry about it because we're going to become an emperor either way so we'll just um we'll just be very patient oh uh, this has to be it then right this, this this has to be the five bloodline child there you are i mean obviously both these children have five bloodlines as well but they're the only ones with that so as long as they have a handful of kids we could uh, make sure that Elf Morenis then has a daughter, that the next child is a son, and then a daughter, a son, and daughter, and we marry them together with three, I don't want to use the term breeding pairs, but I haven't got a choice, with three breeding pairs of grandchildren. That means that the chance of us ever not having access to all five bloodlines is tremendously slim, right? And again, the AI is never going to do this. Even over generations and generations of marrying into our dynasty, the chance of um, uh, our branch of the dynasty the chance of them being able to skew off five bloodline characters of their own is so incredibly slim that I don't think it's anything we would ever have to worry about, to be honest with you. So, schema, boom. Let's take that. Seducer, I wouldn't say super relevant. Torturer, I wouldn't say super relevant, but as a... Uh, what's that button? Oh, hello. Um, <laughs> but as a uh, uh, paranoid character, obviously we reduce stress by torture and rubble, so maybe something like that in the future. I think we've got to go Scholar. Why do I think Scholar is appropriate for this character? Probably something to do with the fact that she's got 74 learning. So we're going to dive into that one. We're going to take uh, Restraint. We're going to embrace Celibacy because, again, the, the wheels are in motion. She's a diligent lady, so she's just going to forget about that. Not to mention, it gives us more piety. So it's win, 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 win. And it means that, you know, this second husband, sadly for him, uh, is not going to get access to our bloodlines. She, she didn't love him. He's just a distant family member. It's a marriage for skills and convenience, and that's about all there is to it. Ooh, you put for leadership as well. Hello there. Visionary admirer. Gives liege opinion. Uh, founder, I believe, is possibly the most appropriate one. Given that, you know, the time we've got left here. We've got 30 years left. 
in those 30 years, if we can get independence, make a new religion, make a new culture, make a new empire, all for... All, all spanning off of faces in our very high tier elves. I think that would be... Uh, she, she'd be that child that I've built up. You know, she's really, really is that destined child that I've made her out to be over the course of the past. <laughs> well, since Elrong, basically, right? I, I thought if we're going into uh, scholarship here and by extent learning, and obviously, yeah, it's going to set something nicely for university. There are some books that give us like 8% monthly piety. 8% monthly piety when you've got 41 piety per month is... That's insane. What's that, like 3.2%? That's fucking insane. Oh, sorry, 3.2 piety per month extra. Oh, God. Okay, hold on then. Hold on. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really add up, but it's also going to give us that learning lifestyle experience on top of it. So something like that uh, gives 10% learning lifestyle experience and it gives 8% piety. I I'll be buying that. Yep, absolutely. Thank you. There we go. Four copies of various different album books, all called Yes and No. They give uh, a, a cumulative what like a 32 percent extra prestige per month or something like that 8 16 uh 24 32 yeah 32 in total thing is up to 47.3 per month i'll take that happily and of course all that extra learning bonus too is is definitely going to add up which all of a not hold just hold let's just see if we find that spark capacitor first what do you want prowess perk available no 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 no. hold off learning perk hello let's take that embrace celibacy decision then i think for any character that i would ever do this with this one makes the most sense where is that uh Abdicate. No, where where is that? How do I to embrace celibacy? Oh, it's there. We can, wait. We can't. Why? You have the trait eager reveler. Oh, we can't do it because we have eager reveler. Or is it just saying because we have eager reveler, it's going to stress you out? Well, let's see what happens then. If that was a wasted perk, I'll be a little upset because I think again of, of any character we've taken this perk with loads of characters. It's in the character that I think has made any sense whatsoever to actually have that. Um, inspire fear. We love a bit of fear. Queen faces his hammer of the noble. It's prowess plus 7. Tyranny loss plus 25%. Better construction time minus 25%. Bloody hell. Oh no. <laughs> Milady, it seems the trap is about to trigger. We should not tempt fate. Um, the tempt fate. Oh, blade of the noble. Please don't do this. A large weapon in a sheath. T tempt fate. You're amazing. Elven ca uh, Captain Captain Hammer. Night Fetson is 10% mercenary higher cost. Uh, we should not tempt fate. No, I agree. We have enough treasure. That's good enough. I'll take the big artifacts. We can sell those for a small fortune if we really need to. I could really do with the spark capacity, though, if you don't mind. Red when born. Oil makes me dull. Shiny when old. Water makes me red. Shiny when old. Water makes me red. What am I? Red when born. Oil makes me dull. Oh, a sword. Uh, shiny when old. Water makes me red. Red with rust, I would assume. What am I? You're a sword. Uh, yes, I will take 25 for the County of Baghdad. Wealth will serve me well. No crystal? No crystal. We didn't finish our expedition, though, so we'll come back and we'll give it another go. Before we head out, whether that is to university or over to uh, that expedition site again, let's tidy up the ram a little bit because it's getting a bit messy. We need some more champions, do we now? Let's invite some fresh ones then. There we are. Um, you can lawfully imprison... No, no, no. Just pardon them for now. Move on. Y your hook on Mayor Nalion. I don't think I've really got much I can do with that, uh, sadly. Tutankhamen Carmelf can be educated by her. I think that's fine. Exchange hostage. I'm not going to do that. I will have titles, though. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what else have we got here? Declare wars. I'm well aware. Too many old duchies. Neighbors can be vassalized. Oh, God. There's so much going on. Wowee. I mean, our realm is just naturally expanding quite tremendously without us really doing much. Better when we were just based around the Tigris, but we've, we've really exploded there. Going all the way up to the Black Sea, this one? Caspian Sea. I know my... Listen, if I know anything, I know seas. I don't understand why it would say you gain stress by becoming celibate by being an eager reveler, but you also cannot take celibacy because you're an eager reveler. It doesn't make any sense, but fair enough. Okay, whatever. Uh, right, let's go to... Let's go to university then. Okay, let's get that out of the way first. Flower viewing. Oh. Oh, okay. No, did I say university? I meant let's go look at the flowers before we launch an enormous war that will kill hundreds of thousands of people. <laughs> Iscaf, next to our capital, has beautiful flowers. Our only intent is to just admire the flowers. Don't pick the flowers. Don't stand on the flowers. Just look. Look at them for two months solid. Simply amazing. It is simply amazing. 80 piety. Wow, that's almost as much piety as we got from traveling the entire world. Beautiful. I think the Divine Spark and I can go inside again. Well, don't get too comfortable because we are immediately heading back off there, my friend. Uh, know thyself? That seems pretty helpful. Although, uh, I don't think it's ever going to happen where we will get that option, right? 
Uh, I'm traveling. No, you're not. You're home. Right, let's go on that university visit then and see... Oh, God, there's so many universities in our realm. Wow, wait, go to the House of Wisdom. I mean, you should get a massive benefit for going to the House of Wisdom, right? At least I would think so, but sadly, it doesn't actually seem to have a gameplay impact. Uh, study hard, and let's go right to the university in our back garden. Time to get started. She's diligent, so we're obviously always going to pick the highest outcome. Be very shocked, actually, if we don't upgrade our education trait again. Oh, duh. Hello. Join the war. Yeah, I'll join the war. Uh, however, I am at university right now, so you're on your own there, pal. What have we got, then? Uh, there must be meaning in the contradictions. 47% chance of becoming massively more successful. Do it. It all makes sense now. Ah, good start. Average studies tier two, and we've only just arrived. Good lord. Okay, she's getting a lot of stress from this. So, uh, veteran explorers for a dynasty legacy. Supply duration up by 100%, movement speed up by 10%, hostile scheme success chance down by 15%. I, I wish there was a way, like a plot, to try and uncover who murdered her husband, just to find out. What is going on here? He's Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Erendil and Maylandir. Are you too good? Poor unfortunate souls. I will see that you learn to read. Are we going to teach them to learn to read? Oh. Yes, let's do that. It's only for her own benefit. It's only it's only so that she can, you know, just flex her knowledge and get to, get to group. She doesn't really care about these people. Um, slightly more successful. No, thank you. No, no drinking. Oh, God. Uh, stress. She's almost at level one stress, and we've only just started. Come on now. Three months left to gain effectively one more tier. We're going to be all right. You'll pull through. Here we go. Must focus on book. It is going to critically stress her. Uh, we can lay with this man. Some random, low-born, 18-year-old man. I'm not going to do that. Critical stress. Okay. Uh, go on an exercise. Very good. Back down to stress level... Like 1. 1. 1.7. A modest 1.7. Uh, sorry, 0. 0.7. You're fine. Come on. I believe in you. Another child. Halion. Oh, I didn't even realize she was Pergonan. Ah, oh, bollocks. Ah. Uh, right. Good. Yes. May you grow stronger wise. Halion. Oh, no. I need to keep her, like, special interest so that I can... Not Elf Tower of Croatia. Get out of here. Um, I need you to be... I mean, is there a way I can get notifications whenever she becomes Pergonan so that I can flip that... Flip the, flip the child over? Flip it from male to female or whatever. Or we've got a guaranteed female at this point for a little while. Uh, we are going to quote the classics. 99% chance of us becoming more successful. We're almost there. We're almost at level four. Come on, I believe in you. We just need one. We're a noble student. Absolutely we are. You're right. I mean, I think it just means that we are a noble that's also a student. Not that we are a noble student. Though I think we've done a very noble job of this. Much more successful. Oh, come on. That's so frustrating. Oh. We didn't, we didn't quite make it. Okay, we didn't quite make it, but there we are. Gain a level of fame. Lost the trait charismatic negotiator to gain the trait gray eminence. Boom. Oh, great news. Um, the teacher's places with their students. We did it. We actually did it. And we got a really good book there. Elven Treaties. Piety 0 0.4 and the monthly piety 0 0.8. Oh, sorry, 8%. Prestige and lifestyle experience. Boom. That is definitely a nice upgrade compared to what we had. Um, let's sack that one off. I think they all give the 8%, which is kind of what I'm focused on there. Oh, very nice. Oh, it wasn't a court artifact, was it? Oh, I think it actually was. Uh, so it was. Wow, good work. Uh, well, those diplomacy perks are unfortunately a little bit pointless right now. We've got August, Matriarch, and Diplomat. Friendly neighbor I'm probably not going to take. Diplomacy plus one. Noble character gives monthly prestige. Uh, earnest effort. What is that one? Personal scheme power. And then dynastic proclamation. I think I'm just going to take three lots of noble character and gain the prestige. It's a bit weak, but... That's the best we can do, really. What's divine inspiration? Is there none that just give ticking piety? I'm actually kind of surprised by that. Everybody gives small health boost. Sound mind gives stress gain. There's none that give like monthly piety then. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Um, wash your hands. I mean, technically it is monthly piety when you get 100 piety for one perk. If you get one perk every 10 months, then that's pretty good monthly piety when you think about it like that. Uh, carefree, wash your hands. Oh, let's go carefree. Drop stress by another 20%, please. Oh, God, remind me just to keep checking her. Eel and deal. Is it too late to, to flip this child over? Or is it too late now? God damn it. Ugh. <laughs> let's pop over the notification again. I've had them hidden because, quite frankly, the notifications in this game drive me a little bit insane. Constantly popping up, constantly dinging. It's, uh, it's such a massive step back compared to CK2 where you could actually disable each individual notification type that you didn't want. Oh, see, I don't care about this. Why do I care about half of these things? Taking all this screen real estate. Um, oh, I will face the night. Absolutely. Uh, on guard. And then, you know what the problem is uh, with you, Stone Knight statue? 
Yes, we managed to shout it to death. Beautiful work. Show me. Okay, all right, development's good. Show me. Show me my spark crystal. Uh, she's going to choose queen. I'll play king. It's basically a free point, no matter what. She's going to choose king. I'll play peasant. Why not? Worst case scenario, we're throwing away our worst piece. She's going to play peasant. We'll play bandit. Uh, okay, priestess. I'll play queen. Pretty much a free point. You can choose bandit. I'll play priestess, and then we've won. Hey, very good. Um, yes. Come on, show me. Spark crystal. No treasure. Come on. Spark crystal. Come on. Maybe tomorrow. Oh, no. Spark crystal. We've got something here. Uh, one by one, we fall from heaven down to the depths of the past, and our world is ever upturned so that yet some time will last. Sands in an hourglass, or stones in an avalanche. I presume sands in an hourglass? It, in fact, was. Uh, good. Maybe we've already found everything. Oh, uh, we have. Well, there you are. South Jasmurian became... A holy site, and we will head home. I guess then, without further ado, we'll probably just ascend now. Because we've already got enough prestige. We've got so much prestige. Uh, sorry, so much piety already that we could... We're not far off of being able to do it again at some point. In fact, I wonder if we could go Ascension and Divine Spark's Blessing. We're not that far off. We need 12,000. We're at 10,200. Whoa. 52 a month, 52 a month, all these other bonuses. Jesus. Okay. Um... Help him, High Queen Elf Tower of Croatia. This man does not deserve my help, but we will help him just so that we can flex our prowess on that wolf. So then, without further ado, I think the play is we uh, firstly spend some points here. Let's go wash your hands. And then for our prowess perk, we'll just keep going down uh, Unrelenting Pursuit. That's pretty good. I think we will... Ritual of Ascension now or Divine Sparks Blessing now. I'm probably going to pick both. Let's go Divine Sparks Blessing. Uh, as you meditate, a familiar presence can be felt on you when the divine spark has cast its gaze. Once again, you see countless possibilities flash before your eyes, fading just as quickly, leaving a single idea in their shadow. Choose. Heroic courage. All prowess plus three. Oh, right. This is the brave and heroic one. Yes, we would already be heroic, I think. Likelihood of dying about lot by 100% is terrifying, but it would certainly help um, lower some of the numbers in the dynasty, right? Because again, the rut. A great heat overtakes the members of this culture and drives them to mate. Ah. They become lustful until the rut passes. I honestly, I, 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 I think I'll take heroic courage instead. If only because it will kill off a few of the unworthy elves. And uh, will also help my game speed up somewhat. <laughs> 1500. If we can't find a divine spark between now and then, uh, one of the crystals between now and then, we'll just descend. Sorry, descendants, but that's, that's how it goes. I'm afraid that, uh, you know, unless you're... What are you, elf blood? Oh my god, we're... we're elf blood. Elf blood. My descendants, they're dwindling. I mean, I quite literally cannot do anything about it. So, okay, um, let's not worry about it. Okay, let's not worry about it. What we'll do is we'll play this character until she is, uh, again, until that year 350. Or perhaps we'll jump in immediately as a descendant of a descendant. We'll go for uh, Galandil or something like that. Are you pregnant again? I'm keeping an eye on you this time. We'll have to build them all the way up from elven blooded. But the problem is we're going to be marrying them into most likely their, their sister who is going to be elf-blooded as well. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're losing so much momentum. We're going we're going uh, incredible d in one direction with all the bloodlines and horrible in the other direction. Tomorrow, then, our great war for independence will begin. We'll make a new culture. We'll make a new religion. Uh, uh, given that she's had quite a lot of religious experiences at this point, I think some sort of reformation anyway to really make our branch unique. And then we will... I guess our next big goal becomes try and solve this, this dwindling elven blood issue, right? Thank you all for bearing with me the last couple of days. It's been a very, very busy time for me, especially over this last week. But I think everything is stabilized and good. We're back to normal, so thank you for that. Thank you to Emily Struggler, Jaeger of House Green, 2.0, Michael Bolt, Kingstitch Gaming, Ash and Jack, Ravenlock, Mr. Koss, Nextar, Fatalis Bane, Dames Ditchell, Hope King First, Seabark Train, Floor 1235, Pinus, Jonathan Cameron, Dexter Lowe, Stephen Allenson, Mr. Dranger, Kerbo Supreme, Sign Swiper, Hodzu Wadzu, and Alluvion Mishap for their support. The executive producer is over on Patreon. I will be fixing all the things that are broken right now, like the background on this very particular page, and also this mess right here. Don't worry about it, okay? It's a long story. Thank you as well, of course, to <laughs> Elliptic, Ruthtopia, Brian, RichieB634, Robber Robbie, Ace of Hearts, Uninvited Haggis, Itchy Gonads, Rave Pirate, Peppy, Sobolo, Alcatraz, Ravenous Argo, and Corrupt Racer. I think I need to go and lie down for a month. See you all next time.